Hi guys, hope everybody's well. Just a quick one. I'm just gonna do a bike ride around my neighborhood three times and then come back. But I'm gonna take you guys along with me. But first, it's time for a cup of tea. Let's go. Morning campers. Hope everybody's well. Welcome to another episode. Let me start the Wahoo. Started rough work. First of all, the camera won't want to start. Then the Wahoo didn't want to start. And now we are on our way. So, as I was saying at the start of the video, I'm going to do a loop three times through Wellington High Street round the back and then back round again three times the last session I'm going to do or the last lap what I'm going to do I'm going to go through the park and then do the last lap and from there head home so weather check it's about 9 degrees here so it's not too bad and it's light wind however at four o'clock it's now what is it 12 o'clock in the p.m and at 4 p.m it's gonna rain so i thought i'm gonna go out for a ride because i haven't been out for a ride this week and i want to spin my legs so it was crucial that I, uh, I made the effort, as you do. Oh. What's going on here? Oh, someone's had an accident here on their motorbike. Ooh. Yeah, someone's had an accident on their motorbike there on the, on the right. I'm not going to emphasize that. But I am this will be there soon anyway. So up up we go. Oh I'm feeling the wind here. Oh dear. Windy Mary. So I hope everybody's had a great week. I've had a busy one this week. I've been working, I worked Monday to Saturday this week, all the way through. And uh, yeah, I'm just glad the week's over. On Friday, I went to Battersea Power Station to watch the light show. And honestly, that was a load of rubbish. You saw, I had not really that, that much expectation because it was free. But still, it was lame. When you turn up, you've got the Christmas lights there, still showing. And then the main attraction was this huge circular light near the entrance of the power station. I'll show you a picture of it. With the lights glaring. And then a few butterflies. And then that was it. So nothing to write home about. To say the least. Right, anyway. It was a day out, I suppose. And then, on Wednesday, as I was saying, then on Wednesday I went to 
a uh, exhibition. And that was good. Saw the ruins of a temple. I learned about some history. I did a video about it, so please check it out when you can. So we're still climbing here. This is the first lap. Not even halfway through it. Talk over the trailer. And go around. And off we go. Still climbing. Very deceiving this is. <sighs> Just cruising along. So, next week I'm booking my trip to, hopefully, um, watch this car here. I'm booking my trip to Tenerife for Christmas. <coughs> the forbidden word that is, so I won't say it twice. Uh, so I'm looking for again half board uh, probably a four star hotel something clean with no hair because my client and who I'm going with doesn't like hair Nice and gentle around there. That's where accidents do happen. Morning, sir. Ah. So, straight down is where my apartamento is near. So this will be the first lap done and dusted. Hopefully. Cruising along. Bike check. Bike feels good. I chained it, uh, not chained it, I uh, greased the chain today because it really needed, it was dry. Dry like butter. So I put a bit of grease on it, you know, to keep it supple. And it's, uh, oh yeah, it's very nice indeed. It's quite nice, it's not, it's windy but it's not, it's not cold, at 9 degrees, and I'm wearing, I'm wearing everything, I'm wearing my wool joke because, you know, during winter you got to, you got to be prepared, didn't you? Check this roundabout. Little mini roundabout. Sometimes you don't even know it's there. But because I live around the area, I'm aware of all these little little things. So I'm still looking for my my gravel bike. To be honest with you guys. I showed you guys a couple of pictures recently two that I was looking at but they both fell through I was too late so now I'm on the search again but I won't give up I'm definitely gonna get something because I'm used to having two bikes 
one gravel, one road. And I'm just cruising through this traffic because there's obviously an accident up the top there. So I've got to be careful in what one does. As you do, the probably ambulance is there. Right about now. Just throwing through nice and gentle. Change gears. That's a gentle one. That's nice. That's a nice. And just push through nice and gentle. I see people sometimes just rushing through this bit. The reasons why I don't know. Then you get people like this come too close to the, the curb and then you have an accident. You just got to take your time and breathe through. See another one, too close to the curb. What for? I don't know. Look at the road. Big enough. Get a for it. I hope that person who had an accident on the right there is okay. Oh, <sighs> but pushing through nice and gentle, as you do. Enjoying the scenery. Not that you haven't seen it before. Check, check. Legs so far, legs check. Good. Feeling nice. There's the ambulance coming. I thought the ambulance would be there by now, but obviously not. And I can hear it. Oh, there's a uh, police, I think there's police there as well. And an ambulance crew. And there's a, I don't know what's coming behind me, but there's something coming behind me. They might actually shut this road, maybe, because of the incident. So I might have to divert. I think that's another copper. Oh, they're diverting. Diverting, yeah? Alright, so what I'll do, I'll divert and go around. Because that situation. There we go. I was trying to change gears there, it wouldn't change. Maybe I was travelling too fast. I don't know. But I can also let me cut down here. And we push through. And then what I can do is do it left here. continue up. Watch this car here on the right. Push to your right. Come over. Check, check. And then I'm going to go straight ahead. Careful here. Check this guy here. Yep, yep. Just keep your eye on the road, check your people that they can see you, give them eye contact, and then go around accordingly. I'm dancing on the pedals at the moment. Checking the float. And pushing. So what I'll do, my last lap, because it's the second one, I'll go another way for the last one. If I didn't have things to do, I would probably stay out a little bit longer. But it is what it is. 
I'm grateful for the uh, time out. If I'm honest with you. So I was watching a video on YouTube about this person put a video out about why he would not cycle in Lanzarote and he was commenting about the he's making comments about the the wind and the uh, the views in particular that they were no good it was mundane and also hills as well a bit to be honest with you it's personal choice isn't it You've got to take it as a pinch of salt. In all honesty, you've got to try it yourself. Good, good. Climbing again. we go. I'm not even changing gears. Braving it. <sighs> nice. Changes for bigger gear. Check, check. Nineteen miles per hour. Nice and steady. Holding the handlebars really tight. And we push on. Doing a left here. So you indicate. Over the shoulder. And then we veer around. For some reason my brakes might need some attention. Might need to bring them in. <sighs> break, 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 break. That's something I regularly do. If I see a car in front of me, brakes. I'll take my time and come to the left. So they can see me in their mirror, wing mirror. If they can't see you, then it's more of an issue. But if they can see you, then it's more like a survival thing. So this time, because I've got my last lap to go, I'm going to go a different route because I'll be honest with you guys it looks like it's going to rain the weather's not looking too kind to me yet at the moment these hazards was on and then he's turning left 
You have to be extra careful with people like that. Oh, I do enjoy being out there on the bike. My initial feeling was, I don't want to go. I didn't even want to get out of bed. I put my snooze on, on the alarm clock, maybe about five times. Went off, dee, 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 snooze. Went off, dee, 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 snooze. I just did not want to get up. You know you're tired when you think it's a different day. Who gets that? That feeling. When you wake up and you know it's a certain day, but then you think it's another day and you think, oh, sure, I've got to go to work. But it's only the weekend. That's how I thought this morning. But the day, the night before, ooh, it's even worse. I think because the, you know, the witness spells, that's what it does to you. In the summer, I'm not like a bullet. I don't need the alarm clock for that. To get off for that at all. Thank you. All right, so we're going through the park. Bennington Park, as always. And then we're going to take another route. So I'll do one scoop. Whoop, 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 whoop. One scoop and then veer around and then go home. As I said, so much to do today. Whoops. Don't know what he was doing. I had to keep a beady eye on him. Up the little hump. We plow through. Oh, God. Careful here. Break, 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 break. Football club on the right now. And we plow on. Let's see if I can do a little sprint through this park. I doubt it very much. Thank you, young man. I'd love to, but there's so many people. Meow. Ah, let me see what I can do. Time trial. No, I'm not going to kick it. Thank you very much. Thank you, young man. That's why I love this hump. Silly woody. Nice and gentle. And you've got a couple of kids here, so you go nice and slow. And you take your time. It's nice that he stopped. So I could come in. So I've got a bit of a dilemma, guys. Let's see if you guys can help or spread some advice. 
so a friend of mine I won't name her name but she knows who she is anyway she lives in the studio flat I'm going to summarise so she lives in a studio flat and it's really small you know how small some studio flats can be so she wants to get a bike and there's no room for the bike now outside there are there are like bike hangers now just diverting from the story a little bit she bought a bike recently second hand bike she put her bike outside attached to the hangar and then the next morning someone stole the bike now the problem was she um she didn't use sufficient chains and that was partly my my thought as well because i helped her with securing the bike but the the chains we used they weren't even chains they were like straps we used to secure the bike wasn't sufficient enough so the next morning and it was a lovely bike it was a specialized bike a mountain bike it was really nice and that didn't last that was gone so she was upset obviously so now we've gone to uh decathlon to try and find her another bike we've seen one really nice one um in decathlon for 600 pound now what i told her was speak to someone in the block like the council or your mp and find out if you can have one of those um secure cabinets that you get that you can put your bike in i'll show you a picture on the screen however they came back to her and said what you need to do is within your block you need to have at least six six to seven people to uh, agree for this uh, particular cabinet well, obviously she had problems getting the names so that fell through and then she also spoke to or wrote to the people the management team of the block to see if they could do anything and they they told her miraculously that the hangers downstairs they were going to remove at some point for health and safety for what well, yeah health and safety which i could not understand so that would leave a big problem because if the hangers are not there then where are people going to put their bikes now my thing was we are in a world where we're trying to make things a lot more greener you know less pollution and try and encourage people to to ride bikes and i thought that people in the council or even block management people would would understand yes the the mp came back and said to get the names but that kind of fell through and with those units i'm talking about you got to pay for it as well there is like a monthly it's not free once they put it in and then you securely lock your bike inside it you've got to pay for the upkeeping which Vienna come on we need to promote people riding and I suppose that again is hindering people from riding their bikes what is wrong with people it's good for you I would say it's one of the best exercises they say well they say swimming is but this has got to be the second one, isn't it? For sure. 
I love it. You just can't beat it. So I've come the back way to get to my last lap, which is longer, but I don't mind. As long as it don't rain. Saying that I've got my uh, my rain jacket in my bag, so I'm fully prepared. But I don't want to get stallion wet. How dare you! <laughs> Want to keep him dry, supple. My last video as well, um, I had to adjust the mic for this video because I don't believe that you could hear me that, that well in my last video, riding video. So I've adjusted it. I've put it close to my, my mouth, obviously, and turned it the right way. Because again, I had it facing the road and not towards me, you which a bit silly of me. <clears throat> we all do silly things at times, as you do. So again, what I'm going to do. So now I'm at, I'm at the top end of where I live. I'm not going to go straight down, I'm going to divert. And we go around the bus. Oh, Windy Mary again. As soon as I pick up speed, I'll get wind with a blast of wind. So I'm going to do it right here. Just check it all the time. Very kind of that person. And up, up, up we go. I thought I thought a little bit of a trickle of rain now. So now I'm gonna bomb home. Oh. Do it left here. Oh legs feel a little bit tight. I'm gonna when I get back to the ranch, I'll do some stretches. And then I'll have to go out again and buy some food. I don't know what I'm going to eat today. For me, dinner. I had, uh, yesterday I had corned beef, corned beef and rice with sweet corn added. Oh, this was nice today. Oh, it'll be a surprise. I might even get a dessert. My favourite, which is apple pie and custard. Oh, you can't go wrong with that, can you? I do love apple pie and hot custard. I don't know, some people can have cold custard. Oh. No, it's like cold beans. Uh, the only beans I like is uh, Heinz beans. I love Heinz beans. I tried beans, which was another brand. They were disgusting. Absolutely revolting. I threw the can in the bin. I won't even give it to my worst enemy. Is that horrible? But, you like what you like. There's some unbranded stuff you can get away with, but there's stuff that you can't. You just can't. You try, but you can't. And I swear to God they were like, for the tin was like 9p. Well, you know a solid tin of baked beans costing you like 
I taught in a small tin, about 75p. Uh, leg update, still feeling good. A little bit tired, but good all the same. Let me change gears. There we go. I need the assistance. Oh, that's it. Better. And down we go. So we're going to go down, and then we're going to go back up again. Post office on the right there. Well, it's a sorting office. So whenever I'm not in, and I leave a card saying you've got to pick it up from the sorting office, I have to come down here to pick up my post. Oh yeah, it's definitely going to rain now. Oh, I'm not messing about now, guys. So guys, it's time for a quick time lapse. the end. Hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. So as always, please subscribe, share, comment, all that good stuff. And I'll certainly see you guys in the next one. Adios.